Reading at home with your child provides many benefits for improving your child's education. When you and your child read together, it is called shared reading. Benefits of shared reading include better language, the development of listening, spelling, reading, and vocabulary, and helping essential early reading skills. Reading together is also great bonding between parents and their children and helps positive attitudes towards reading. When adults read aloud to children, it is also beneficial for their brain development. Reading is the only homework at Lee Elementary. We expect every student to read at least 20 minutes a night. Studies have shown that reading 20 minutes a day can result in higher achievement on standardized tests. A child who reads 20 minutes a day will have read 1.8 million words per year by the end of 6th grade. Your kindergarten or first grade child should come home every day with a bag of 10 to 14 books from their classroom library. They will also have a reading log. Please help your child complete the reading log and sign it as a way to communicate that you know they read for 20 minutes. You can also get books from the Springdale Public Library. The address is 405 South Pleasant Street, Springdale. It is very near Springdale High School, also known as Bulldog High. In order to get a library card, you need to bring a utility bill. When you read with your child, have them sit in your lap. Make sure to turn off the television or get rid of any other distractions. Ask your child to read the book to you. If you read in English, you can read aloud to them or you can coach them to pronounce words that they are trying to read to you. It's often good to take turns reading to one another so that you can model reading for your child and you can also listen to your child read. Whether you can read in English or not, you can ask your child questions about the book they are reading. Ask your child to retell the story, or ask them to tell you about their favorite character. Have them tell you what happened first, next, and last in the story. You can also ask them if there was a lesson to be learned from the characters in the story. If the book is nonfiction, ask your child what facts they learned from the book. Let's watch Mr. Swope as he and his son Sawyer read a book together. Wait. Oh, it's your It turn. is my turn. Oh, yeah. The next day, Miss Lurleen went from ranch to ranch looking for the cowboy who owned the boot. When she came to Dwayne and Milton's ranch, both brothers tried the boot on, but it didn't fit. Miss Lurleen had just climbed on her horse to leave when Bubba rode up. He was dirty and sweaty and smelly from working with the cows and he was only wearing one boot. Let's see if we see, do we see the cow? I see a dog. And I see two, two dog, dogs. Three. One. Yep, two. you're right. Oh, that's Bubba. 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 Yeah, I don't, well, I guess the cow's out of the picture at this point. Okay. All right, so your turn. Make sure and read good and loud. There's the cow. There she is, yeah. Miss Lillian jumped off her horse and ran over to Bubba. Try the song, she cried. Bubba took his dirty old boot and pulled it on. Much a blanket. Does that sound like a word? Much. Try try the I with a different sound. Obliged. Perfect. Ma, ma'am, she said, blushing. It fit perfectly. Eat. You're my prince in cowboy boots, said Miss Miss Thurmain. I'd recognize that smell anywhere. Marry me, cowboy, and help me work my ranch. Dwayne and Milton and their wicked daddy threw chicken chicken fists. Is that what they're called when they're like doing that? They're they're acting like a chicken all mad. And a chicken fit. It's just uh, them, look at them. That's what a chicken fit looks like. They're just mad. <laughs> and the dog. The dog's mad too. Look at these two dogs. That mm -hmm. must be Miss Lurleen's dog and that's Bubba's dog. This story is always one of my favorites because it has good pictures. You go ahead and finish this. You can read this page. But Bubba just smiled and 
and he and Miss Lillian rode off into the sunset. They lived happily ever after, rubbing a cow, poking and getting them doggies along. There you go, and there's the cow. Dogs. You like this book? All right, so favor, question. Tell me, why don't you retell that story? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know why. What happened first? First, um, he didn't complain about doing all those chores. Okay. Because he, why? Because he liked, because they told him to like, um, do like, doing like, um, the, like what rodeos did and he liked doing that. Okay. So I'm smiling doing it. Good, good. Then what happened? Oops, and then um so so he liked to be and then who did we learn about you learned about miss lurley oh what does she do she set off a ball yes yeah, she had a ball what's a ball a ball is like just like a bouncy ball Mm, is that what she was doing a See, ball is mm. like a fancy word to say like a dance yes okay yeah so there's yeah there's there's lots of meanings to the word ball but in this story the ball was a fancy dance or party perfect good so tell me this who was your favorite character in the story my favorite um character was um was um the kids that Daddy and Dwayne and the other Milton because they were like doing like because they threw a chicken fit yeah they were your favorite they were funny why do you throw chicken fits sometimes yeah sometimes yeah yeah Dwayne and Milton and Wicked Step they were your favorite characters yeah because they were like yeah I think my favorite character was the the fairy god cow. <laughs> It's because, kind of a funny word. Well, and, yeah, it is a funny word. It's not a real word. But what was cool about her um, was that she was just in the story in the background the whole time, wasn't she? And it was kind of fun to look times. for her. Yeah, almost all pages had her, but not all the pages. You're right. It was fun to try to find her. Yeah, it was fun to try to find her. So, is there any any lesson to be learned from this story? Yes. What do you think the lesson of the story is? Don't pretend to be someone else who you're really not. Okay, why? Because you need to show your real self because you might be better than the other person you try to look, look like. I think that's a really good lesson. Just be yourself. Don't try to be somebody you're not. I like that. Good job reading. Mm. Love you. Okay, Daddy. All right. We hope you make reading important in your home. Read to your child, read with your child, listen to your child read, and be a reader yourself.